hey y'all what is going on today is a beautiful day a beautiful tuesday morning and i am on my way to go get some coffee because i need it i need coffee and if you know me the only place that i really go to to go get coffee is duncan gotta run on duncan Duncan runs on America. Isn't that what their slogan is? I don't know. But whatever. I need something to charge me up because I've been feeling a bit down. Um, I guess just a bit discouraged. And I just need something to like pick me up right now. Like I just have so many things on my mind about everything <laughs> really. And um I mean, I don't know, like, I don't want to stress myself out, but I feel like I'm in control of all of these things that I am stressing over. And I think the main thing that I'm stressing over is my business because I have um, dedicated myself to it. Um, I have gone through um, all the legal statures that I was supposed to go through to to get it off the ground and yeah it's just at a standstill right now and I'm using any little thing as an excuse to not push forward and work hard towards it and I think one of the excuses that I'm using is me not having a website for my business so if you guys are out there and you know somebody that does great websites like on Shopify because I'm actually um, I'm registered with Shopify, Shopify so if you guys know anybody that does websites please comment below and let me know or um, ask them to reach out to me um, at my business email my YouTube email marquasia at gmail.com that you can find on my bio in the information section please let me know because um I would love to have somebody do my website. I cannot, I, I don't, I just, I can't get into it. Like, I don't know what it is that I'm doing wrong, but it's not coming out the way I want it to. And maybe somebody with more um, experience in that type of stuff, like e-commerce sites and stuff like that can um, help me out. So please let them reach out to me in any way, please. But anyway, um, I'm using that as an excuse to not get my website and you know just my business overall off the ground and um i feel defeated in a way because i'm i'm disappointing myself and i'm disappointing those that were looking forward to me um looking forward to me uh having my business jump off the ground you know so um a part of the reason why i guess i kind of fell back from my online um boutique which i started um is because I wanted to be more heavily into YouTube. I started YouTube about two years ago and um, I wasn't really that committed to it. I, I knew it was something that I wanted to do, but I wasn't putting out the content that I needed to. I'm pretty sure that back then, if I was putting out more videos and I'm um, talking to you guys more, um, I probably would have had more of a better following. And, um, I, my of course I feel like my channel would have flourished more and it's it's doing good but not as good as I wanted to so that's why I'm putting out more content for you guys I want to do more vlogs I definitely want to do more reviews for you guys too as well so um yeah that's that's another reason why I kind of fell back from um pushing my business but honestly that's no excuse because I can be doing content on my business on YouTube you know encouraging people to to um, start their own business and in the back of my head I'm like how can I do that if I'm not even encouraging myself to do that you know like I have everything set in place for this thing why aren't I um, just doing what I'm supposed to do as far as like social media is concerned you know um, just getting it put out there so just to give you a little story the other day I had actually did a um, actually last Friday I did a live sale on my clothes on the inventory that I had because it's inventory that I've had since last year 
So to me, I feel like, you know, it's a bit outdated for me because, you know, now I, I have this vision of a different style and approach that I want to go for with my business. And by the way, my business is called 1216, technically LLC at the, at the end of that. Um, and it's a retail uh, online boutique, just selling clothes, um, thinking about selling accessories too. But I kind of want to switch it up. I'm thinking about not selling, selling clothes, uh, thinking about selling other things. You know, I want to focus on one specific item, one specific thing that um, that's my signature thing. And I'm not going to tell you what that thing is because I'm still thinking about it. Um, but I will say you've seen me in a lot of it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking about that. Um, but, you know, I don't want to I don't want to make that move yet until I have all my ducks in a row. So anyway, last Friday, I did a sale, a live sale on my inventory because I just wanted to go away. I want to. Um, start fresh so to speak so um i did that and um i guess i got kind of disappointed and mind you i was advertising i was advertising on youtube and i'm sorry not youtube my, my mistake i was advertising on instagram and on facebook doing post hold on for a second So I was advertising on Instagram and Facebook with pictures of the clothing because last year I have taken pictures of it and I have videos, you know, um, talking about the business and I remember I did a video about me going to get my makeup done because I was going to take pictures. So y'all hold on because I'm about to, about to get my coffee. Oh, sorry. It's dark, y'all. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Can I get a... Um, a small caramel iced coffee with um, almond milk, no sugar. Small iced coffee and with almond milk only. Um, yeah, almond milk, no sugar. And can I add a um, an espresso shot to that? Sure. And can I get a croissant toasted with butter? And a croissant toasted with butter, of course. And actually, let me get a um, a small hot caramel coffee with almond milk no sugar and an espresso shot one more or just um yeah one more yeah okay one one more small hot coffee caramel uh almond milk and um etc right yeah espresso shot no sugar okay one croissant no croissant just yeah one croissant and no extra croissant okay so you have one iced coffee one hot coffee both same way and one croissant with butter right that's correct okay Thank you. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to get to drive through. Good morning. Good morning. Give me one second. Sorry, y'all. So, um, where was I? Hold on, just a second. <laughs> Sorry. 
So, yeah, I got my coffee, got a caramel, small iced caramel coffee with an espresso shot. And I got my husband a hot caramel coffee, with both with almond milk and an espresso shot. No sugar. Because I feel like the caramel, the uh, sugar from the caramel syrup is just enough. And then I got me a um, croissant toasted with butter. Obviously, you can't see the croissant, but yeah, so good. this espresso shot is hitting right now just one sip it just already got me going anyway so where was I so um where was I I did a live and you know I expected um not so much of people that I didn't really know but I expected more of my family more of my um friends that are close to me to uh jump on and support um I think maybe I messed up doing it on a Friday because I know everybody, you know, they're off work. The weekend is here. You know, everybody got the whole mindset of it's Friday. I don't want to be bothered with nothing. But I figured um, 7 p.m. on a Friday would be decent. And I mean, technically, we're all still supposed to be quarantined. I just figured that would be a, a great thing to just, you know, catch everybody before they headed out. I guess wherever they was going to go on a Friday night or whatever. But I don't think that worked in my favor. And I think I was expecting a lot more from doing this live. And I just feel like I failed in selling. I didn't sell many items. I'm not going to say specifically how many items I sold. But it didn't even put a dent into um, how much I was expecting to make back from you know from me purchasing the clothes last year so um i guess that's why i just feel so you know let down but i can't blame anybody i can't force anybody to buy my clothes i can't force anybody to do anything at that um i just expected more support from people that were close to me so i can't blame anybody but myself that just i, I just have to work harder i just have to um work harder um be more confident you know because as i was telling my husband earlier you know things are not going to happen or um become successful overnight you know not even let alone a week or a couple days you know so i have to put in that work if i want to continue to grow my brand and continue to um grow this business because i don't want to just let it go to waste you know i spent all this money i spent all this time trying to finalize things legally with this business i've spent money buying the inventory that i have now by the way i do have a lot more inventory left and um i don't want to just let it go to waste you know i want to make something of it and you know every day i look at my daughter and i'm like i have to continue to do this for her you know i don't i, I want her to see that her parents are successful and that you know um, we're working hard towards success, you know, and that we're not just giving up like that. So that's what I'm trying to um, be for her. And I'm sure that's what my husband is trying to be for her as well. You know, we're, we're both working hard towards our goals. So now I'm caught in a hard place because I'm trying to figure out if I want to continue to work harder towards YouTube because I am growing a following. It's small, but it's something and I'm so appreciative of you guys. Really, I am. Or should I continue with my business? 
um, if I if I do continue with my YouTube, you know, I'll still have my business, but it'll just be on the back burner until I'm ready to revamp it and um, I guess uh, bring it back out again. You know, reintroduce it. I guess I can say it like that. So, um, trying to figure out if you know I just want to leave my business on the back burner or reintroduce it at um, a later time with a different style, with a different theme, with a different something. So that's that's why I've been feeling down and got my coffee because I feel like you know my coffee will pick me up a little bit and um ooh, child Lord Jesus this coffee so good oh. mm. that's so good I love Dunkin Donuts I love their coffee I love the coffee and you know what strange is at home I have a Keurig and I know Dunkin Donuts have um have the little k-pods too or whatever but i don't buy dunkin donuts k-pods i buy starbucks k-pods and this this particular starbucks uh coffee it's the caramel coffee I, I don't know what it is i love caramel coffee but the starbucks um k-cup uh caramel coffee is so good at home but when i'm out i don't go to starbucks i may go there like once in a blue moon not to get coffee just to get like their pastries or like their little sandwiches their breakfast sandwiches but majority of the time like i'll come out like now and go get dunkin donuts i love dunkin donuts coffee i don't know what it is about it but it's just it just it picks me up so i guess america does run on dunkin i guess i do run on dunkin then huh because it's, it's giving me that pick me up that i need so and i didn't realize i'm at a weird angle y'all so y'all out there if y'all are feeling down about something um something that you're trying to accomplish it is not the end of the world and i guess that's what i realized today just talking to my husband talking to my mom um even just talking to god really you know it it's not the end of the world you know we have to continue to push forth the effort if we want to become successful if we want to accomplish our goals and our dreams our aspirations our wants you know majority of the time we're not doing this for ourselves we're doing it for people that we love people that are really really close to us and in this case i'm doing it for my, my daughter I'm, I'm doing it for my family i'm doing it for me as well you know so it's not the end of the world and i'm going to continue to work hard still trying to decide what should i do um i don't want to leave youtube on the back burner i don't want to just you know leave it how i did you know last year and the year before you know i, I wasn't consistent and i want to stay consistent with you guys because um you guys love my videos you i'm interacting with you guys i'm i'm commenting i'm, I'm talking to you guys and i appreciate you even wanting to hear me talk because i can't stand the way i talk sometimes like i'm just like oh like i don't even like looking back at my videos to review it like i just be edit okay done push it out on youtube bam there you go but i have to stop that you know so obviously you guys like me obviously i'm doing something right for you guys so i appreciate you guys so much you guys give me that drive that i need to stay consistent on youtube and i love you guys for that so if there's a dream or something that you're trying to accomplish something that you're trying to fulfill don't give up you can do it talk to god um if you believe in god talk to god if you don't talk to a your higher authority your high, the higher power that you believe in you know your family your friends your significant others you know they will help in situations like this if you feel stuck if you feel defeated like i do so my message to you guys don't give up love yourself stay confident love what you're doing and Dunkin runs on America guys get some Dunkin Donuts because it will help it will make you feel better <laughs> you stay running on Dunkin it will make you feel better because it makes me feel better so I love you guys for watching thank you again for tuning in to my channel Quay 
I'm having an identity crisis because I keep going from Quasia to Quay, whatever. My name is Marquasia at the end of the day, so y'all can call me whatever you want to call me. But, you know, when I'm introducing myself to you guys, I'm going to say Quay because it's easier. And my husband calls me Quay. Everybody calls me Quay. Not so much Quasia. Sometimes, yeah, I get that sometimes. But Quay, it is. So, I love you guys. And y'all, just keep me in your prayers. Pray for me, y'all. If y'all have any suggestions or... um any advice i love advice please comment below let me know um even send me an email you know i'm welcome to emails it's not just for any business inquiries but you know if you want to give me a you know a word of advice or some encouragement or whatever or if you know anybody that does websites for the low low for the low low please let me know and i will be forever grateful um just for your help in in your um your support so i love you guys y'all stay blessed out there be safe corona still going around and i will holla at you guys soon later oh and don't forget to like subscribe and comment i appreciate you guys for your support i love you love you love you and i will talk to you soon later